we set up a workshop here with Nisha as part of the Junction Festival as a community engagement project. And it was a process that we designed specifically for this project. We invited people firstly to come in and to write down a personal experience which connects them to the river. And that was almost as a sort of to re-engage with the sense of self and the self-association with the river. The next thing that we invited people to do was to plot a place on this map. This is a map of the entire river shore, so it's seen in its entirety. The, the, the position at the moment is we've lost the shore in Kelmel. Totally lost. It's gone out of sight and sound because of the flood defences. You take, for example, at the moment with ourselves here in Clonmel, as in Carrick a few years ago with the flood relief scheme, you have had huge impact. Like Carrick, we are now divorced from the river. And in a matter of weeks, we'll be even more divorced uh, because with the closure of the head races and the tail races. We don't have a huge amount of, of sports that are actually on the water. And Ken, and I suppose our interest is uh, just in, in, in making sure that the, the river is brought into the, into the community as much as possible and to give people uh, here in Clonmel as much access as possible to the river. <coughs> so Ralph, as I say, embodies all of that river eye tradition, which by the way has been greatly neglected in, in, in the consciousness of people and also in the, uh, if you like, in the, cultivation, in the cultivation by the academic community. Rivers tend to be so much a part of place that they are almost half overlooked, but they flow through us. And as well as that, there is the whole idea of river as, as a universal metaphor for time and experience, and for constant renewal, for, for transience. The river is always leaving us, but never, never going. Always going, but never gone.